Alrighty, everybody. We are live. Damn it. Here on Valentine's Day. Or if you work in WWE, Vengeance Day. I hear drip, 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 drip. You know what that is? Melting snow. The same alley. 30 Looks like you got fucking snow on your shirt. What is that? It's a little patterned shirt. There's snowflakes all over it. When I said we had 14 inches here, I wasn't talking about snow. How much did you get, Craig? Uh, just over nine inches. Oh, man. What a Valentine's Day. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax are heels. Mm. But Nia Jax's hole is a baby face. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Give it up for Nia's hole. That's what they were told. Can we be done? That's a, <laughs> some good analysis. I'm just trying to, trying to give you... I'm trying to report. Yeah. Yes. The NXT Thunderdome folks are all gimmicks. Those are all tapes. I see. So, uh, which actually makes this show much different to watch because when you hear these loud, this is awesome chants, it's bullshit from start to finish. Sure. Just piped in gobbledygook. <laughs> Invaders. Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> there are videos there of Post Malone, and he's walking around the club in the, with this box, and he's just handing out money to random people. This sure. needs to be Cameron Grimes' next step. This one is, I'm saying it, unfuck upable, and you can take it to the bank. The whole thing just gives way with a house, of, like a house of cards, and she stops and stares at it. That was me planning literally anything in my life and watching it fall apart before my very eyes. Oh my god! Here we go. <laughs> just yes, bring her baby. On. Get this off. Okay, bring it here. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Everyone's the saying Vinny is right. What did I miss? The truth. The former Eli Drake, who is now, now, L.A. Knight. D-Rye Lake. <laughs> Dry, dusty lake. <laughs> what about that idea? The show's not doing great, and it's the same guys in those positions. And I think we need some new guys, especially with all the talent they have here, for crying out loud. But wrestling-wise, show was awesome. I'm in Cannon Beach right now. And what for those of you watching, what I've done here is I have rebuilt this upstairs to look exactly like my studio at home. The thousands of dollars you've invested. Uh, millions. Sexy muscle friends. The waste paper baskets. Kind of yes. sounds real. It does? It does. The gross mess. The mighty, mighty boss tones. Boscos, Boscos. Bostones. Baylor versus Dunn. Well matched couple. Jabs on. Well, it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> well matched couple, yes. K U S H A D A R versus Gargana. Q Cheater. Cheater. I needed some bong bong and lightning. For <laughs> Don't we all? Charmel versus Jenna. Oh, no. oh my God. I gave that a five. Five! A oh, five? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know what we Very... gave that, Granny? We gave that minus five stars. <laughs> you give Kashida and Gargano the same match eating as Charmel and Jenna. People complain about all the meat that's being eaten on this planet. How about all the fucking leather pants? They don't make my butt look good, so I don't wear them. We'll be the just either, does, right? either does beef. <laughs> oh, I disagree. <laughs> Lights out, oh, Mash. You stuff your oh, okay. pants with beef? <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> All right. Are we done? <laughs> AEW did 747,000 viewers. NXT did 713,000 viewers. Adults, 18 to 49. AEW did 400,000 viewers. NXT did 202,000 viewers. Well, that's not close. Why is this show so fucking old? The audience that likes this kind of show is the audience that has been watching WWE for two decades now. It's from when they were middle-aged. And so it's what they think wrestling is supposed to be. I am a big fan of The Way. But my God, this segment was straight out of the worst of World Championship Wrestling. It was russo horrific, wasn't it? We talk about how there's too much comedy in NXT. Like, this was the pinnacle. This was what pro wrestling is to people who write bad sketch comedy shows and what they think pro wrestling is. They put MSK in the corner, eating popcorn. Yeah. Mocking it. 
they feeding popcorn I, I, to Beth Phoenix. They're rapscallions. They're the jokesters in the back of the class. They laugh at things. So they thought there was going to be a good fight. They sat back and enjoyed the popcorn and watched the good fight. Everybody in the WWE office was told a couple of days ago that nobody was getting any raises or bonuses. <laughs> So I'm very skeptical that they that they deliberately destroyed a Lamborghini for this angle. That would, that would okay. be bad for morale. <laughs> she was attacked during the photo shoot by Tony Storm, and so the photographer just kept shooting. Yes. And so we get this attack by Tony on EO. The whole thing is told in still photos, but it makes total sense. There's just too much smoke here for me. So I don't know. Maybe it all was a work from start to finish, but... I think that he bonked his head, and I think that just to make sure that he was okay, they brought out the medical team, and it blew up from there. No, he did not suffer a seizure. I don't even know if he actually suffered any serious head injury. So did Matt Hardy know that Hangman had worked him and was going to demand a contract and was going to demand a legal representative from the Jacksonville staff and got Isaiah Cassidy in this costume somehow? I'm not quite sure how we got to this point. Well, it's a good question, Vinny, and I mean... If we're going to be fair here, I mean, the WWE hardcores make up their own fucking storylines. And so the AEW fans should be able to make up their own fucking storylines as well. Serena D versus Riho. What a fucking great match. What a beautiful match this was. Shaquille O'Neal has to get the camera crew there. He has to insist everyone watch and record him as he shoots and makes a free throw. Which is funny, Brian, because the one thing Shaquille O'Neal was not very good at as a basketball player was free throws. If Shaq takes Cody and he ties him up in the human knot yeah, and then free throws Cody over the top to the floor, they could win. It's the same goddamn thing every week. And so they thought, what's the one fucking thing we could do that nobody would expect? Well, uh, I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take the guy with spinal stenosis who's 62 years old, and let's fucking have Brian Cage powerbomb this fucker. They have to leave. The kids want him to stay and play. They say, no, you play with Nakazawa, and the children kick Nakazawa in the shins and beat him, and his friends abandon him to be devoured by children. Kenny Omega has to watch the monitor, and they're mocking WWE, yes. but he literally mocks them more than anyone's ever mocked WWE. He's he's backwards. Yes. I don't even know how he turned his neck this far. His father's apparently an owl. An exploding barbed wire death match. <laughs> yeah. And Tony Schiavone loses his mind. Well, well, Vinny, it's time to vote and let's not listen. waste time. I think it's it's AEW. AEW okay. was a much better but show this week. AEW wins this week, but I do want to say that I thought that the second half of NXT was excellent. The yes. first half of NXT, I did not think was excellent at all. Dynamite had the stability, good wrestling, good angles. Overall, better show.